picture it. It's in 2007, you're a kid or a young adult, on your way to the big brand new Transformers movie helmed by Michael Bay. It will be a smash hit and sequels of varying quality, and by varying quality I mean, eh, two, ah! and overall a decent flick. But during the trailers, a topic we covered last time, shameless plug here, you see something. Maybe you've just seen the one for Iron Man or the new Indiana Jones, or that DreamWorks movie that looks like it'll surely be awful. But after that, something in a found footage style, only really seen in kind of low budget Hollywood with Blair Witch and paranormal activity, that kind of thing. A party being interrupted by a colossal explosion. People running, panicked through the streets as, oh lordy that's the Statue of Liberty's head rolling through the streets, what on earth is happening? A producer, a data release, a studio, and that's it. No name, no other info than that, just some really gripping imagery and a mystery of what could be the cause. That was how the movie Cloverfield started its marketing campaign, and let me tell you now, this was just a sign of things to come. See, most movies or TV shows or any form of media really, will put out a few trailers, a few posters maybe, if they're feeling spicy, something special like a more out there form of advertising in a select few locations. But this… Whew. Those with avid interest could find my space pages, it was, it, was, it, was, it was 2008 okay, and blogs of pretty much all the main characters of the movie. They could find entire websites of shady corporations that seemed to be behind the events of the film. There was even some pretty chilling fictional news stories created to sell this blockbuster. The internet at the time ate this up in spades, the concept spreading like wildfire across the net. Theories and speculation on the mystery movie were varied, everything from Lovecraft to Godzilla to Voltron being thrown around. The name of the movie wasn't even revealed till later that year. It wasn't the first time that kind of idea would be used for promotion, and it would be far from the last. But it's most certainly become one of the most famous. I'd go as far to say it's more remembered than the hundred million dollar movie itself. And I think it's one of the most fascinating. Now, that's not to say there wasn't your typical advertisement types to be seen. I'd go as far to say the one and only theatrical poster is, well, perfect. I don't use that word a lot. In the age of films throwing everything in the kitchen sink at their posters in order to meet the demands of the million dollar actors and studio behind them, something like this, just one striking image that works whether you've seen the trailer or not, giving you a morbid sense of fascination, is definitely what I prefer. The blogs, secret videos, websites, and all the other aspects of the more unique side of Bad Robot's flick were not necessary to the film. But you can just watch it and you'll be given a pretty good found footage monster movie. But, and I'm saying this as someone that likes the film, if it wasn't for how off the wall bonkers hard the studio went with the marketing, it would have been well forgotten to time already. But because of that? It's still fondly remembered close to 15 years on. The marketing was less like your usual bunch of advertising and more like a game, a mystery, that you and thousands of others across the internet got to experience and work together in order to figure out. It didn't give any exact answers, but it did give potential reasons for why the monster had awoken, why it was attacking, and a surprisingly interesting background of the companies trying to keep it under wraps. And now, well, what since then? Well, two of the strangest sequels? Tie-ins? Two more movies have been released, neither of them really connecting to the first instalment, quotation marks, besides their name and one or two references. But it's very clear there's still an audience for this franchise, and I legitimately think 99% of those people are still in it because of the marketing for that strange found footage 2008 monster movie. 
And that's why it's my singular favourite advertisement of all time. Up from the depths, 30 stories high.